Hi guys, Victoria here. Today I'm bringing you the second episode of my Northern Marianas trilogy. I am bringing you to Rota, one of the inhabited islands of the Northern Marianas, where the triathlon competitions of the Pacific Mini Games took place. And for this reason, we had the opportunity to fly with a chartered flight over to Rota, which is a 30 minute flight. Here you can see as they are packing our bags into one of the wings. We were flying with Star Marianas Air, which is a US regional commuter airline service, which is serving the Commonwealth of the Mo Northern Mariana Islands and Guam. It offers daily scheduled flights between Saipan and Tinian, Saipan and Rota, and Rota and Guam. The star in the Star Marianas Air comes from the first letter of the islands, Saipan, Tinian, Aguigan and Rota. Here I am bringing you the full experience of our flight there. For me, it was very exciting. I was quite nervous, to be honest, as I am actually afraid of takeoffs normally on big planes as well. And you will hear probably that I <laughs> was nervous here as well. But actually, it wasn't as bad on such a small plane as on a big one, because you can see the pilots, they, you see what they are doing. You see if they are panicking, luckily we didn't have that experience. So overall, I actually had a good experience flying with such a plane. Finally, we landed on Rota International Airport. Rota, nicknamed as the world's friendliest island, is the southernmost island of the Northern Mariana Islands and the second southernmost of the Marianas Archipelago, which also includes Guam. It lies approximately 74 kilometers north northeast of Guam. Since 1978, the island has been a part of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and since then, it is one of the four municipalities of the CNMI. 
There are approximately 3,500 people living on the island, most of which are concentrated in two main villages, Sinapalu and Song Song, and are of Chamorro descent. Rota has been less developed than Saipan or Tinian, so it retains much of its natural beauty, including healthy coral reefs, lush tropical forests and wildlife. Rota's history is strongly connected to that of Saipan, which I have explained in detail in the previous video. So watch that if you're interested. During the Japanese occupation, the development of the island lagged behind that of the neighboring islands, Tinian and Saipan, with only 1,000 Japanese resi residents arriving by the end of December 1935, most of them employed in raising sugarcane and in sugar refining. The refinery was not economical and it was closed three years later. During the Second World War, the island was never invaded by the Americans, however, it was bombed a few times. The island is approximately 20 kilometers long and 7 kilometers wide. Its coastline is about 61 kilometers long. The highest point on Rota is called the Mount Sabana. It is less than 500 meters tall. We were here for the triathlon competition, so we have found ourselves a ride to the start of the competition and we were making our way there just in time. That's 18 of the region's top men athletes out there in the water. They're going to do two laps for a total of 750 meters. In the afternoon we made our way back to the airport where you can actually find the details of the history of the island and the explanation of its flora and fauna, what is characteristic on this island including the different birds and sea life as well as the coconut crabs which is a local delicacy. In the mid-afternoon we flew back to Saipan and this was our day in Rota. Thank you for tagging along. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I hope that I will see you next time. Until then, press the like button and thank you for watching. Goodbye.